motivating patients to change poor lifestyle habits can be extremely difficult. Uh, preventing cardiovascular events such as heart attacks or strokes are relatively distant benefits, whereas barbecued ribs and cheesecake or sitting on your butt promises almost instant gratification. So public health experts are hoping that prevention or improvement of erectile dysfunction could be a more immediate motivator that physicians can use to improve their patient's lifestyle and in turn their overall cardiovascular health. That's how doctors can save a life during a clinic visit for erectile dysfunction. You know, we used to think of erectile dysfunction in young men in their 20s and 30s as psychogenic in origin, meaning it's all in their heads. But now we're realizing it's more likely the early signs of vascular disease. But even when the penis heads in the wrong direction, the heart need not follow. Atherosclerosis in both organs can be reversed with lifestyle changes. We know that a substantial body of knowledge demonstrates that the abundant consumption of food of plant origin, including vegetables, fruit, and whole grain, and the dietary patterns rich in these foods convey a markedly lower risk of coronary disease. So they tried putting impotent men on a Mediterranean diet, the main characteristics of which include a, an abundance of plant food. 37% of the men on the Mediterranean diet for two years regained normal sexual function. What about the diet appeared to do it? Improvements in erectile function was tied to five things. Increased intake of fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, and essentially the ratio of plant to animal fats. Similar benefits were found for women. Same kind of diet significantly improved sexual function, together with a significant reduction of systemic inflammation. As a whole, these findings suggest that a Mediterranean-style diet may be a safe strategy for amelioration of sexual function in women with prediabetes or diabetes, a significant improvement in sexual satisfaction on the healthier diet. Why, though? Well, as dietary fiber may have anti-inflammatory roles, it may be the fiber content of all those plants in the Mediterranean diet magnified by all the antioxidants. This is the current thinking, given the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects of a plant-based diet. But does it really matter why? Uh, from a public health perspective, it may be unnecessary to elucidate every mechanism of single components. Let's just recommend people to eat healthy, such as decreasing fat and increasing whole grains and greens.